Jeff DeMore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today we'll be speaking about CAC's mechanical chuck for holding cores, um, which are uh, for unwinding and rewinding application for rolls of material. This is CAC's mechanical chuck. Uh, it's available in several sizes. Uh, this is the three inch size, it's the most common. However, we do manufacture them in uh, all the way down to two inches, the smallest, and we manufacture them up to 18 inch diameter. Three and six inches, obviously, the most common, and those are the sizes that we stock. All of CAC's mechanical chucks include a split bushing locking. So when I tighten this set screw, you'll see that that split bushing will close, and that's what locks to your through shaft. So the set screws uh, never touch your through shaft. Um, so what we do is we take um, uh, mechanical chuck, and the way the mechanical chuck works, it simply has uh, rollers that ride up a ramp and lock your core in place. So it's, it's kind of like a cam lock. Um, we don't have any springs involved in this chuck. On the back side, you'll see there's a couple of magnets. And those magnets pull and hold that roller back. So the rollers don't, so they stay engaged with the back of the chuck in the, in the retracted position. So we take the mechanical chuck and we slide it onto the through shaft. This is CAC's through shaft, which is designed to fit this rewind stand, and when I tighten the set screw, you'll see that the chuck will lock into place. So now that chuck is locked onto the through shaft, it's one assembly. CAC's through shaft, this is CAC's lightweight through shaft design. This whole assembly, which includes an end plug and mechanical chuck, um, it's very lightweight. This whole assembly is only 12 pounds. The end plug, this is CAC's end plug. We manufacture this. This just supports the opposite end of the core. It doesn't deliver any torque to your core. It just holds the core in place on this end and also includes a, a, um, um, a core stop flange so that when you slide the core on, the core will stop in this position every time, making your setup for your operators very easy. So you always know where the edge of your material is in your machine. So we take this assembly Oh, and the, um, the inside of the through shaft, we make it, this is how we make our lightweight through shaft. It is hollow on the inside. We use tubular steel and we weld in solid journals. And then to fit our rewind stand, we put square ends. So this is a cutaway view and that's how we make our lightweight through shaft. CAC does manufacture these safety chucks. But uh, those, the safety chucks are demonstrated in a separate video. Today I'm just going to show you the mechanical chuck for this video. Um, you take an empty core, you slide it onto the mechanical chuck with the rollers in the retracted position. And I positioned, uh, there's your, your end plug is holding up this side of the core and you, at the end of the core aligns with the, uh, with the um, uh, core stop flange. On this end, I position the chuck so you'll be able to see those rollers come out and grab the core. This whole shaft assembly drops into the safety chucks. We take our edge material, we take our material, put it on the core. I have tape in place to hold it. Now I have this <clears throat> rewind is moving about as slow as I can get it, um, about the slowest speed it can go because we're going to zoom in on the roller and when I start this up you're going to see that roller move up the ramp and grab the core. Also keep in mind the tension on this is very high and I'm only grabbing a very small section of the core. You're going to see that these chucks, although they're small, they deliver a lot of torque to the core. In addition, you can do this, uh, you can have a very similar assembly where you put another mechanical chuck on this side and it will double the torque. But right now I'm using a very small section of that chuck and we're, we're um, delivering a, very, uh, a lot of torque to a very small section of the core but we'll still be able to maintain uh, the web tension which again is going to be very high, I'll show you. So when I start this up you're going to see those rollers come out. I'm going to close these mechanical chucks. So you can see those rollers ride up the ramp, and now they're in the locked position.
So if I stop the stand, you can now see these rollers are all in the out position, away from the back, away from where the magnets are. And I start that back up again. Now the tension, like I said, that is tight as a drum. So we're really running this under a lot of tension and those rollers can handle that, the amount of torque requirement for that. The mechanical chuck can handle that torque requirement. So then when you want to uh, make a roll change, what you would do is you stop your rewind, um, cut your material off, and then you'll see that these rollers are in the locked position. In order to get the, the roll off of the, um, off of the rewind, you have to get those rollers back. So if you rotate them back, now it's unlocked and that core will slide right off. So we open up the safety chucks, pull the roll out, and see the roll slides right off the mechanical chuck. Thank you for watching uh, CSC's video on mechanical chucks. I, uh, uh, certainly contact us if you have any questions or um, if you need more specifications, obviously pricing as well. Thank you.